Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> so I'm just going to get right to the point. Um, excuse my bonnet, though. I didn't feel like taking and combing out my hair. That was, that was just too much work. So, yeah, deal with it. But um, anyway, so the funniest part of this episode was a uh, homegirl that has the maid, Eva. When she asked her, she said, is there something in my eye? And she looked and saw her eyes do that little thing like fish do. <laughs> and she said no. And she grabbed the kids. Whoever makes it out the door first get a prize. Yo, I was dying laughing. Yo, that shit was so funny. I could not stop laughing. I had tears in my eyes. That shit was so funny. She did not hesitate to get her ass out of there. She didn't ask no questions. She didn't make no statements. She just got the kids, packed bags, chomped the deuces. Yo, that was too funny. Best part of the show, I swear. But, um, in the beginning, Regina, with the doctor, went to go check out her, her rocker dude. And, um, she went upstairs and Regina's downstairs talking about getting a mani-pedi and she hears this thump. And she goes upstairs and see homeboy sucking on homegirl neck. So she just looked. And then she did a U-turn and hard ass going down the stairs. She broke her ankle, but she kept going. <laughs> that is what you're supposed to do. You don't think twice. You see shit like that, you run. I mean, I probably, you know what I'm saying, running. I would have called 911. It seems like people don't know that number in this show. Like it doesn't exist. Baffling to me. But whatever. So that happened. Um, uh, home girl that hung herself. Really though? In the last episode, didn't you pray? I mean, I don't understand. The annoying neighbor... You fed him to your husband, did you not? And then you wrote a letter saying that you couldn't live without him. But your husband is a vampire. So I'm trying to understand what the problem is. I mean, you had, you had enough common sense to get your children somewhere safely. They're with your sister. So, I mean, you did the right thing by them, but... You said you couldn't live without your husband, yet you left your children with no parents. Yeah, that was the right thing to do. Ugh, I didn't like that part. But I didn't care for her anyway, so I guess, whatever. Um, You know, they went to the barn, killed her husband, killed homeboy that he was feeding off of. So yeah, um, F's boss don't like his ass at all can't stand him he makes me sick I hope he gets sucked bone dry I don't like him my rat guy my hot rat guy yo I thought he was done I thought it was over for him but I'm happy that he lived Nora oh I don't like her I can't stand her she makes me sick she needs to die. I am so over her. It's unfortunate that her mom is, you know, in a old folks home. But still, I do not like her. But that was crazy how that happened up in there. I was not expecting those things to come out of the sewers that fast or that quickly, I should say. I mean, why did it take them so long to come out? I mean... All of them died, what, the first episode? So, why did it take so long? But, whatever. Um, yeah, that was crazy. And homeboy trying to be Captain save a Why did you do that? You see this long tentacle thing sucking on somebody and you really trying to go save another person? I mean, I understand, you know, the morality part of it. But, I mean, common sense? Like, what the hell are you going to do? Like, really? No. I wouldn't have did that, but whatever. So, yeah, the episode was great. Um, I loved it. Like I said, Eva was the funniest part of the whole episode. Yo, that, sh that shit was too funny. And uh, Guillermo del Toro is doing a very good job with this. Oh, 
the flashbacks of Abraham. That was some creepy shit. I mean, you're in a camp already where the people are just horrible. And then you see this thing just flying through this and just sucking people. Yo, I would have fucking flipped. That couldn't have been me. He would have had to just kill me because there's no way I would have been able to sleep at night after seeing that shit. Like, really? And then the sad part, when he had to sit, when he turned over and watched his friend, friend, brother, I don't know what he is, just, just getting sucked dry. And what's up with the thing after he, you know what I mean, after he suck you dry and then he break your neck? Like, what is up with that? I need somebody to answer that for me because I'm confused about that part. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I hope they continue with the flashbacks for him because I want to know exactly what the hell well, well, how it all started and then how he handled everything. Because remember, what is the first episode where we saw the heart inside the jar? Definitely want to know whose heart that is. But yeah, I will be seeing you guys next week. Deuces.